Seminago. So today I'm doing this minimalistic drugstore makeup tutorial. So this is something very new for me um, because usually on my channel, as you guys know, I do dramatic looks, I do full glam, full coverage, just full on looks in general. And I was actually planning to do one of those videos today. I wanted to do like a grey cool toned smoky eye and like a really dark cool toned lip. But I was just not filming it. I was feeling something lighter, something more fresh. So I'm just wearing BB cream. I'm wearing cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlights. I'm only wearing a bit of powder through the T-zone and underneath my eyes. I didn't powder my entire face. I'm not doing the super bold dramatic brows. I'm not doing a ton of eyeshadow. I'm not doing any false lashes. And I'm doing tinted lip balm on my lips. This is really as basic as it gets for me. But I love it. I love this fresher look. Even though I do still love to, to look like a 40 year old drag queen. That's just my look. So anyways, I think I only used like 15 or so products today in this video. They are all drugstore, all super affordable. All really great products that I highly recommend. So yeah, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like the look and watch in high definition. And without further ado, here comes the tutorial. Okay, so to start this look off, I do already have my skin cleansed and moisturized and I used an eye cream. So I know some people like to go straight in with that tinted moisturizer or BB cream uh, without moisturizing their skin first. But for me, I always do skincare and makeup separately. So no matter if I'm doing a full beat or a really natural look, I always do skincare first. And before I even go in with my BB cream, I'm going to use a little bit of a primer. This is the Master Prime, the Blur and Smooth by Maybelline. You could skip this step, but I have quite large pores around the nose and on the cheek right here. And I have some acne scars and I have some fine lines underneath my eyes and I just want to smooth that all out. So that's why I'm using one of these smoothing primers. So I go in on my cheeks first and onto my nose and up underneath the eyes and then I just go a little bit on the forehead. I don't really have that much, that many problems on the forehead. So to keep this look kind of minimalistic and do something new for me anyways, um, I'm going to use a BB cream instead of a foundation. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you know I love some full coverage foundations. But I have tried a BB cream or two and my favorite from the drugstore is um, this one. So this is the BB cream from Rimmel and this is the matte version. They also have like a original one that's not matte but it's not it's not super dewy either and i have that one as well and i do also like that one but since i'm going to use minimal powder in this look i'm going to go for the matte version and yeah as i said this is my favorite i like this one better than l'oreal's cc creams and bb creams and definitely also better than elf and better than um, garnier so you could definitely apply this with your hands but I'm going to blend it in with a beauty blender and I'm going to take it down the neck. The color selection isn't the greatest. I have it in the color light, in the color light. And it's definitely a little tiny bit too dark for me. I know sometimes on camera, uh, the, all the lighting washes out, like especially my face. But um, it's, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. So I'm going to use my Swirl Beauty Blender. And as you can see, it does have quite nice coverage. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Hide the Blemish Concealer by Rimmel. I have it in the color number one. It's called Ivory. So it's a very nice light color. It's going to help lighten up this foundation a bit because it is a bit too dark. The thing I love about this concealer is how creamy it is. It's really super creamy. It's not one of those really dry, talking... Um, stick concealers. This is really really smooth and creamy. So I'm going to use this um, You know like a regularly would and I just use the opposite end of the beauty blender to blend this out and Another thing that I really like about this is that it is in this stick format So it's just so quick and easy to use 
So once that is on, I'm going to set my face a little bit because it is looking rather shiny. So for setting powder, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Undye High Definition Setting Powder. So I went ahead and set the T-zone and also underneath my eyes and now I'm going to do some cream bronzing, blush and highlights. So first to do some cream bronzing I'm going to take this cream bronzer by L'Oreal. This is called the Glam Bronze uh, Cushion de Soleil Fresh Glow Bronzer. So it's a cushion bronzer, it looks like this and this one is so easy to use. Because this is a liquid formula, it's really easy to use. To me, this is easier to use than any of the contour sticks. And I also have the little W7 Chanel cream bronzer dupe. This one is by far the most easy. So I am picking up some product with my e.l.f. small stipple brush. And then I go in and I bronze up my cheeks. This is so incredibly easy to use, it just blends out so easily and I also really love that it's not too dark and it's not too pigmented but of course if you are a darker skin tone this is not going to work because it just won't be dark enough. I only think this will work up to like probably not much beyond a light skin tone but if you are a darker skin tone um, I would look into a regular cushion foundation and just go with a foundation darker than your skin and then use that to bronze up your face. So I also do the jawline. And if you apply a little bit too much you can go in with your beauty blender. And I go right here on the temples and bring it up here around the hairline and I do a tiny little bit on the nose. So for my blush I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Blushed Liquid Cheek Tint. I have this in the color number 5, Apricot Glow. So I just take that with my finger. And pounce it on my cheeks. So it just adds a tiny bit of color. Now finally I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in the color Spotlight. So this is a straight up white color, but they also have it in the color Golden Peach, which is a golden peach color. So I'm going to apply it with my W7 um, Mini Power Puff, right on the cheekbone, and I kind of blend it up here. And I blend it right above the arches of my brows. And I also and I also do the cupid's bow. And a little bit on the nose. And actually while I'm at it, I'm going to add this to my brow bone as well. So for the brows, I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. And this color is extremely close to my natural brow color. Normally I go for something a bit darker, but since I'm trying to keep this look very natural, I'm going for a color that matches my brows. So I start out by using the spoolie to brush from my eyebrows. And then I go ahead and I only fill in the sparse areas. So a little bit in the front and then up here at the top. So here you guys can see the difference between the undone brow and the done brow. It's really subtle. It's just a little bit more perfected. So again, I do this inner part because it's a little bit sparse. And then I do mainly along the upper, upper brow. So these are the finished brows. They are not perfect whatsoever, but that's not the goal. It's just the goal to get them a little bit more defined and a little bit fuller. So to set my brows, I'm going to use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. 
So I just run this through the brows from the innermost part all the way to the tail. So I'm going to keep the eye look so very simple. All I'm going to do is apply the color tattoo by Maybelline in the color Bad to the Bronze all over the eyelids. So I'm just applying that with my ring finger right on the eyelid and I kind of blend it up into the crease again just with my finger. So this is just going to add a little bit of color to the eyes and because it is the Maybelline um, what's it called? Color tattoos, um, it's not going to crease. And if you have a hard time blending it out in the inner corner, you can just grab a Q-tip and just use that to help blend it out. So now I'm curling my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise um, waterproof mascara in the color black is black to me it's really important that it's waterproof so I'm going to add two coats of this to the top lashes and then I'm going to add just a little touch to the bottom so that's one coat I really like this mascara so this is two coats to my top lashes so I'm just going to hit up the very root of the bottom lashes So the final step for eyes is to apply a nude eyeliner pencil in the waterlines. I'm going to use the Scandalize Waterproof Cold Cajol by Rimmel. This is in the color Nude. This is a great long wearing um, nude pencil. So now for the lips I'm going to remove any BB cream from my lips. And then I'm simply going to add a tinted lip balm. So I'm going to start out with the Baby Lips Dr. Rescue in the color Just Peachy. This color is very milky and it's not my favorite. But the other one that I wanted to use, which is the regular Baby Lips in the color Peach Kiss. This one is very, very sheer. And finally, I'm going to take this uh, Baby Lips. This is like the, I don't know, this is from a different collection, but this is called um, Pina Colada Pau. And it's like a dried coral. So I'm just going to add a touch of this. And I'm just going to blend it out. And of course you don't have to add that many different um, tinted lip balms but I just wanted the perfect color so anyways to finish off I'm going to apply a little bit more powder because as you can see I'm quite shiny so I do a little bit here a little bit around the chin then a little bit up here in this area and then a little bit in the center of the forehead and finally, since I do have oily skin, I'm going to use a matte setting spray. I'm going to use this Essence Instant Matte Setting Spray. Okay, so before I call this the finished look, I'm just going to remove the little mascara smudges I have gotten up on my brow bones. And then I'm going to add just a little touch of my powder right up here just so that my mascara doesn't smudge up here so if you guys like this super simple uh, minimal drugstore makeup look then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so thank you guys so much for watching um, and i will see you in my next video so take care and bye bye